Hello everyone, today we will discuss how to give access to a remote server from an IoT device. So let's have a network with a server, a home gateway, a PC. It can be any end device. So let's have a PC. So now let's connect all these three devices. So let's have a straight through cable to connect these both. And let's connect this through Wi-Fi. So power off it and change the module into a Wi-Fi one and power on. So go to config tab wireless zero and change the SSID into home gateway. So now here click on DHCP and we'll get an IP address here now so we have a connection between the home gateway and the PC now so let's have some IOT devices like a lamp and let's have a door so now let's connect this also by, uh, through wireless. So give advanced IO config and change the network adapter as the wireless one. And go to the config tab. There give wireless zero. And now we'll have an IP address here given by the uh, home gateway. And click on the light now. And click advanced. Go to IO config and change the network adapter has the wireless one and go to config tab wireless zero and we have an IP address here also. So now the home gateway is connected to the server, door, light and the PC. So now go to the server and click on services IOT. And make sure this is on and go to the desktop tab IP configuration and click on DHCP so we get an IP address so now go to the web browser and give the IP address of this uh, server so the IP address is 192.168.25.103 so give that IP address So we get a page. So it asks about the username and the password. So let's sign up because we don't have any account here. So let's give sign up and the username. Let's have admin and the password also. Let's have admin and give create. And uh, it shows uh, this is the page where the devices, IoT devices are shown. So now let's minimize it and go to the door. Here we have three options none, home gateway, and remote server. Click on remote server and give the server's address. The server's address is 192.168.25.103. And the username is admin, which we have given there. And the password is also admin. So give connect. So now it's connected. So let's go to the server. Here we have the door here, which is the IoT one. So click on it. Here we have the uh, two options, unlock and lock. Let's lock it. Uh, here it is locked now. And unlock, it's unlocked now. So next we'll do the same for the light. Click on the light. Go uh, give remote server and give the IP address and username as admin and the password also has admin. So now this is also connected. Go to the server. Here we have the light also. So we have three options of dim and on. Dim is for a bit light 
and on is which means that the light is uh, light gives the whole light so now let's connect all these through this pc this pc will go to the server and the server will give the way to the iot devices so let's give the ip address 192.168.25.120 103 so we have a uh, username and the password already so give admin and admin so give sign in we have two iot devices the door and the light so we can control uh, it by using the end device also or you can control it through the server also so give lock it it uh, it is locked and give dim and off so we can uh, control it by using the server and also an end device it can be any end device uh, we can keep uh, even uh, a smartphone wireless tablet let's try it with a wireless tablet so let's delete the pc and now let's have a wireless tablet and now let's have a wireless connection between the home gateway and the uh, tablet so i go to the config tab wireless zero and change the ssid has home gateway and now here um, click on dhcp and we got the IP address and we have a connection so now let's go to the web browser and give the IP address so again we have a username and password already so now we get the door and light if you want to see your username and password you can go to the IOT and here you can see the username and the password so an IOT device can be controlled by an end device and also a server thank you